Why does the market need you? Like why? There's lots of agencies out there. There's lots of people who got marketing degrees, qualifications, people who've been in sales. So why does someone need you? That's a dreaded question. And I actually have a great way to overcome that objection if it ever comes in. You know, why should I hire you when I have a really experienced marketing team? You're going to love that as we get into it. But I want to share with you why there is a desperate need in the industry for growth partners and how you can take advantage of this to get very rich. And by take advantage, I don't mean to take advantage of your clients. I mean, take advantage of the opportunity. Businesses were built on entrepreneurs seeing an opportunity, seeing a gap in the market and thinking, I'm going to plug that gap. That's how fortunes are built. So I'm going to show you exactly how fortunes can be built for you using the growth partner model. Let's get into it. So the first step, why do businesses need growth partners? The industry, the market and landscape has revolutionized within the last five to 10 years. Online marketing of how it's done now has radically changed. The adoption of technology, new ways of doing things, advertising platforms are improving and accelerating far above and beyond than ever before. You know, with the advent of technology, it's advanced so much and businesses are still operating in a very legacy way, okay? So the market shifted and businesses haven't. And that's why there's a gap and this is where your opportunity lies. So businesses are who we are going to sell to. We're going to sell to businesses. We're not selling to individuals, okay? So a lot of businesses struggle to grow because of sales and marketing. It's as simple as that. So they might have products, they might have you know good leadership and stuff like that, but a lot of businesses have a, a product that works, but they, they miss leads, they, they, they don't have enough leads coming in and they can't convert those leads well enough, okay? People don't understand the product. They, they don't have their value proposition dialed in. That's where you come in. And most people who are good at marketing have their own business, right? Because it costs nothing to set up. To become a growth partner, you know, aside from the investment that you made here, it costs nothing to set up the business, okay? Very low amount of tech. Whereas let's say you were building a software company, the entry barriers is much higher because you have to invest in building the, the, the developers, you know, unless you are a developer, you use no code, which, you know, it, the, every, most other businesses is a lot harder than setting up something that just delivers market services or sales services or consultancy. It's really low barriers to entry. And in businesses, most people who are good at sales and marketing are making six figures. And this is very important for you to realize, because if you can go all in on a business, and they see you as good at sales and marketing, like our good salespeople are making well over, they're making about 15K per month. It's like people who are good at sales can make a lot of money. Marketers are very, very hard to find. Like we are networked with all of the best marketers and Jacob still has to run our marketing department because marketers know if they can make money, they don't want to work for other people. So this is herein, yet again, lies your opportunity. And companies, most for-profit companies are always looking for ways to increase their profits. And you have the best solution for them. So think about it. The businesses are struggling. Anyone who can do marketing doesn't want to work for them or they're charging 10, 15 K per month. So like there's, there's a challenge. They can do these things. And also companies are looking, you, you don't speak to a company and they're like, oh yeah, we made 5 million last year and we want to make 4 million this year. Right? They make like, I made 5 million last year and I want to make 7 million this year. I want to make 10 million this year. Companies are always looking to grow and they're looking for the best way to do it. So what options do they have? They work with agencies or they hire directly. Agencies tend to only solve one issue. And a lot of the time they don't get results because businesses are way more interconnected than what a lot of agencies understand because most agency owners have never been in business at a senior level. So they don't actually understand how businesses work. And that was my advantage of being a growth partner because I'd been in business at a senior level and worked with other businesses at a very senior level. So I understood things that marketing agencies didn't, right? Which give us a massive competitive advantage. So that's 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 one part. Agencies, some agencies only solve one issue. These are you kind of like um agencies with a hundred million offers, you know, we do ads and we get you this many leads within this many days, right? 
and most of them don't get the results that they promise. Or you kind of all the school full agency ones, which you know say, oh, I do website, I do SEO, I do this, I do that, I do like coloring in on, I'll, I'll change your LinkedIn photo, like stuff that gets no results, okay? Or it's like, they, they do so many different things. It's like a Frankenstein and yet again, it's impossible to scale. So those are your types of agencies that are in the market. Or you can hire directly. And this this is what most business owners want to do. They, they, they don't want to hire third parties as much because they like the control internally and it's much more cost effective than hiring an agency because agencies are always looking to make profits. For sure, we're looking to make profits. That's what agencies have got right. Um, also, um, it can be expensive to hire direct staff, um, but it's more like a hidden cost because most direct staff, they don't work out two to three, sorry, one out of two employees don't work out. And most employees are B and C team and CEOs put it or put up with this. Yet again, herein lies your opportunity. And also hiring a team member, you can't guarantee results and it's costly to manage time and money. So say, for example, if I hire a market manager, I have to set the KPIs, I have to manage them, I have to check in with them, I have to get them uploaded. Like there's loads of things to do. And also they have a risk from an employer's perspective as well in terms of more fixed costs. So these are the options that businesses have to grow. They also have consultants as well, but consultants often don't get considered on these kinds of growth because a lot of them don't deliver services. They just give information, they give advice. Whereas companies have money, but at a senior level, they don't have time. And herein lies your opportunity where you bring the growth partner together, okay? Because you deliver some of the, the services, but you also provide the info, the partnership element and that, that that comes together, okay? So these are options that business have. And as you can see, that they're suboptimal based on what the outcome that they're looking for. So when we're pitching, we actually share this. And this, yet again, gives, gives the prospect, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Um, and also what we, what we need to do is we need to basically educate our prospects because uninformed buyers will sabotage the sale because a confused buyer always says no. Okay. And that's why we give them a plan and we focus on a return on investment, which yet again, some agencies do promise that, but they're normally promising, you know, leads and they're doing it in a short amount of time. So we take parts of what works for the agencies, but we actually show them the return on investment. So these are, th so just, just a quick update for now. Businesses need us because the market's changed and they struggle to hire people who are good at sales and marketing, okay? Because they're already making good money and companies are always looking to grow. So they have a desire, they don't know how to fill the desire and the options that they have are suboptimal. And when we pitch, we share this with them and we plug the gap. So in addition to that, most people, most of the knowledge that's coming out of team members, they've took traditional pathways. Okay. This is why there's a gap within the market. Look at, okay, Jordan. Well, why, why hasn't this been filled? If it's such a big gap, why hasn't it been filled? Universities are teaching outdated information. So most people who are hired by big businesses don't know the right way to market. They don't know the new age stuff. A lot of agencies know that, but they miss how to put that into a business. So you get people who are you know, good market managers, good at project managing, but they, they, they don't understand how to get results. They don't understand how to be creative. They don't understand how to drive the right things forward. So that includes the new age where the information is out there. So you can get, you can get a lot of great information online, like go onto our YouTube channel. There's, there's so much info on there, but these businesses don't have an A-team player to implement it. And they want someone they can trust. And that person is you. They don't want to work with an agency who has hundreds of other clients. They want to work with one person who they trust. And they're hard to find and expensive to hire, meaning they're forced to work with external agencies who can't guarantee results. So trusting essentially strangers with their revenue and reputation. This is why the partnership works so well because quality businesses don't want to risk their reputation. And one bad experience, which is inevitable, there's a lot of mistrust for agencies within the market because of these wild claims, wild offers and unmatched expectations, okay? And that's why it's so hard. So if you've if you've been trying to do a marketing agency, that's that this is why it's so hard. And look, the top companies don't want to work with them. 
because a few bad apples spoil a bunch, okay? And I'm generalizing here. Is there some great agencies out there? 100%, okay? But the, the model will definitely not make you as much profit as the growth partner. That's why it serves the client. This is why the market needs you. I can, with the, the other info, I'm gonna share with you why it's beneficial for you, but this is why it's beneficial for the market, okay? And no, no one gets out of market, okay? So most big businesses are not doing the right things to drive revenue. And yet again, herein lies your opportunity because when, let's let's just say you're pitching for a business and they have a big marketing team, okay? And like, well, you know, you don't have as much experience as my market manager who's been in there for 20 years. You say, oh, like, that's great. Like, what's the market manager doing? Most of the time, they're not going to be working on the things that you're going to deliver. They're not going to be working on these offers. They're going to be working on you know, brand and you know LinkedIn messages and blogs and SEO. So you see, oh, that's great because I get to work with your expert market manager who's focused on these things and I'm going to support him or her by focusing on these other things. And yet again, this is this is a great part. So even, even when businesses have a good marketing team, a good sales team, you're an extension of the team that's going to accelerate and help them. You're going to plug the relationship. You guys are working together. You are not separate. And this is where there's a massive amount of value in that, that you can provide to a potential prospect and then a partner when you work with them because they have the, going back to the start, they have the big desire to grow, right? They're struggling to grow because they don't have sales and marketing expertise because sales and marketers want to work for themselves. They have suboptimal options. So when you're pitching, <laughs> you basically share their suboptimal options and the reason how and why you can help and why you are different. And you only need one partner <laughs> to make five, 10, 20 here per month. This is the beautiful thing about the model. Whereas as an agency, you're going to need a hell of a lot more. You're going to need to deliver more. So you're going to have to have more staff. Whereas with the growth partner model, you need less clients, more money. And that is one of the reasons why I love it and why businesses are going to love you. So if you're worried, do people need this? Yes, because they are not good at sales and marketing in terms of what we are teaching. Even companies that are excellent are not doing a lot of the things that we are going to share within the one deal away. So smile, chill out, get ready, enjoy the journey because it's going to be a great one. And the demand for this is only going to increase and the positioning, but, but, but don't not take action. The demand will increase, but people will plug the gap and those people are going to make a ton of money. And I hope you are the one who's going to make a ton of money from this. See you in the next video.